Hello. Chasing Ramos back again with another TTC video. This was a little different. This one is my fertility shrine, my altar to Oshun, the Gadu, the goddess, um, the Yoruba goddess Oshun. So I'm just gonna go through everything I have here. Um, so I'll start from left to right. Right here I have um, my aromatherapy diffuser, and it has orange citrus. Um, essential oils because Oshun likes citrus um, citrus fruits. I have a um, sacred geometry crystal grid here made with golden colored um, agate stones. Uh, and then I have another one over here and it has moonstone, amethyst, garnet, clear quartz, um, and Dirt dirt right? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Over here, that's just some of my other crystals. They're just sitting nearby my plant. And I've got a squash down there because she likes squash and pumpkins. Under the squash, I have a piece of baby boy fabric that I've been keeping that I set aside a long time ago to um, be fabric that I would use for my baby, not someone else's baby because I sew for um, relatives and stuff so that was some fabric that I had set aside that was weak for my baby the same thing with this pacifier I bought it a long time ago like a year ago and I've been keeping it um, I bought some baby food that was sweet potatoes another thing um, Oshun likes is um, sweet potatoes and yams and it had a little black baby on it so I thought that was cool I've got um, Oshun is a water goddess she's the goddess of the ocean she likes mirrors um, as you can see on this yellow candle her favorite color is yellow so I got my chakra um, mat out that, that's got lots of yellow on it I've got um, these shells from the ocean her candle has a mirror on it I got a mirror here that's reflecting this um, flower it's not quite a sunflower but it really looks like a sunflower and it's big and yellow so I lit this candle too she likes lemons honey as you can see there's honey on there and I was burning some pumpkin incense that is a tiger eye and a citrine stone and she loves gold so I put this little gold necklace there I don't wear a lot of gold I don't a lot of gold so that was all I had these pins are just pins that I use for um for sewing they're not there <laughs> for any particular reason she does like gold so I put gold there and then I put blue and pink for baby boys and baby girls so that's what that's there for and this little ladybug just represents me because that's my nickname it's ladybug and this is honey that I offered her because she's the goddess of like bees honey um, sweet water so I've got some water here I actually put some sea salt this is sea salt from the um, I want to see from the red not from the red sea to remember but it's a sea over in the Mediterranean and so I put a little of that salt in there so it'll be like salt water like sea salt water from the sea and the turtle is there also to represent the sea longevity long life living creatures and I just put um, this on this paper this is this paper here um, to catch everything uh, so that I wouldn't make too big of a mess on my tablecloth which is just a little sparkly and you know fancy table this piece of fabric and so I, I put honey all around I also put honey on the candle holder itself as an offering and I used lemons and cinnamon as well um, just a couple other things about Oshun she is very particular about um, um looks and very, things being very aesthetically pleasing that's my ancestor altar over there with her ancestors and so she wants to be venerated and told how beautiful it she is she's out and so she's she likes the mirror and she you know she she likes gold yellow um honey things sweet that sort of thing so that's what I had out and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave it out for five days today is day six I'm sorry uh, yeah day six 
past ovulation. So, um, six days past ovulation, however you want to say it. And I'll probably leave this up for two more days. This is the third day I've had it out. And I've added like a little something extra special each time. I mean, each day. I've added, made it bigger, added something new. So, I'll catch up with you um, in a couple days. I'll let you see how big and grand it's gotten by day five. Because five is her special number. And um, I'll also start testing on that day. So the last day that I do the altar will be the first day that I start doing live pregnancy tests. And we will watch together as we manifest this baby into this world. And I'm so excited. This is our month. So I'm out of here. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.